Hello, I'm Patrick Linnell with Cattlefax Closing Bell. Today's Closing Bell is sponsored by Zoetis. Implant with 200 days Cinevex 1 grass to get uninterrupted performance, bigger gains, lightened workloads, and more dollars. Visit nostresscinevex.com. Two major video auctions from Superior Auctions and Western Video Market provided a solid test of the fall calf market over the last two weeks. Prices were roughly $5 higher than comparable sales on June videos and also $5 to $10 higher than the cash market lows during the fall run last year. Still, prices were generally 5 lower than comparable sales on last summer's videos. Calves with multiple value-added programs such as NHTC and GAP sold for stout premiums. Sellers on the videos benefited from the optimism in the futures complex over the last two weeks. As of the time of recording, December live cattle futures were poised to finish the week $2.12 higher at $110.50, breaking through resistance levels. Feeders were also poised to finish higher with the September contract $5.60 higher on the week at $142.90. Fed cattle trade in the north this week occurred at mostly 96 to 98 live and 157 dressed, with a few up to 160. These prices were steady to $2 higher than last week. Meanwhile, trade in the south was noted at primarily $95, fully steady with last week. Prices are expected to continue trending firmer in the coming weeks as the front end supply situation slowly improves, which is already occurring in the north today. The box beef composite cutout broke below the $200 mark this week, but has begun to find support. Beef buyers have become more active in both the spot and forward markets as they see cattle prices seemingly finding a low and wholesale price points are at historically attractive levels compared to the last several years. Feeder cattle traded at mostly steady to three higher this week, with the CME feeder cattle index quoted at 135.91. Calves for immediate delivery traded from too lower to too higher, ending the week near steady. Market cows traded mixed but mostly steady, holding roughly $2 per hundredweight above last year. Corn ended the week down $0.04 cents per bushel. Thanks for watching, and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis.